the very best primers at the drugstore for mature skin is the subject that we're covering today. We want smooth, pretty looking skin, nice primers that makeup sits well on top of. So I'm going to share with you my top picks for that. But before we get started, I will show you what I have on because I get asked in every single video what that is. So I will show you the outfit that I am wearing today. And all of those products will be listed and linked below along with the fingernails, the jewelry, all of the makeup, everything that will all be listed and linked below as well. And in the first pinned comment. If you are new to my channel, hello. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Melissa. I'm 56 years old. I've been on YouTube for eight years. I have hundreds of videos if you want to go back and look at those. And please subscribe if you enjoy what you see. Don't forget to give this video Video a thumbs up that helps me so much with the YouTube algorithm and here we go we're gonna get started into the best primers at the drugstore for mature skin all right I do have six that I'm going to talk to you about and they all have a little bit different properties to them I do want to tell you that two of them are on Amazon so they're drugstore price points but not necessarily that I can walk into a drugstore and get that's kind of the qualifier that I do when I do drugstore is that it's at a really good price point and and also I do know that in some other countries you can walk in and get these in store. So I do put a few of those in there for my international ladies. Thank you so much for watching. All right, let's start off with this one from Milani. This is the Skin Quench Hydrating Primer with Hyaluronic Acid and Coconut Water in it. Milani redid this so that they would have a little bit more product. They said it's 50% more. I guess they were doing about three quarters of an ounce. Now they're doing an ounce on there. But I love this hydrating formula because not only do I feel like it's nourishing, but I also feel like it's thick enough that my skin really drinks it in right before I put on all of my foundations or anything on top of it, but it sets down well. And I do also feel like it does a little bit of blurring. Now this isn't a blurring primer, but at the same time as I'm feeling it on my skin right this second, it does feel very perfecting and very blurring. I love using this, especially in the dry winter months. And if you're somebody that has dry skin, like I do, this is perfect. It just is one of those ones that for a mature woman and she wants her skin to look plumped up underneath her makeup, then this is definitely a great primer for you. The next one is one that I recently found. They actually just released this one. This is from Cover, CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Skin Enhancer. This is the Velvet Blur. And boy, does this one perfect. This is just so pretty. It doesn't feel drying like some mattifying blurring primers do, but it does give that velvet feel. I just thought this was so nice when I used it in one of my very recent videos. I will show you a clip here. It just filled in the pores, and if you have texture skin at all, you know I have big pores right here on my nose, on my chin, right there in, on my forehead, and I will just take some of a blurring primer and just press it in really well and then you know feather out the edges. This is one that works really, really well, and my foundation laid so nicely on top of this. This is one that I'm really, really impressed with, and in using it, it gets better and better each time. Another one that is a blurring primer but it also says that it's hydrating and this one also has an SPF in it of 30 is from Elizabeth Mott and it's called Thank Me Later. And when she says that, she means you'll thank me later for how your skin looks. And I feel like that's the truth. This is a beautiful primer. It does come out in just a little bit of a tint as you can see right there, but it doesn't show up on your skin when you work it in at all. It isn't one that if you're dark or if you're light, you're not gonna be able to wear it because it's very just blurring. And I think that's part of the reason that it's so blurring is because of that tiny bit of tint in there. This is just lovely. It gives you the hydration benefits, but it also gives you that blurring benefit. And then you get the added bonus of getting that SPF in there. And I love that about it. It just makes my skin feel so perfected. And I had been really curious about this for a long time because I saw it over and over again promoted on Amazon. And I thought it's getting promoted. It's one of those that's just overhyped but I don't feel like it is overhyped, especially for a mature woman that needs both benefits of hydration and the blurring. This one's really good. And then you get the added benefit of it being the SPF too. So 
that's great. What more could you really ask for? I also did put one of my very favorites that I feel like is very much like the Tatcha Silky Canvas is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This does have a fragrance in it. It's one of those ones that when it very first came out, I talked about it over and over again, but I had so many people saying, does it have fragrance? And they were complaining about it. Then I kind of backed off about it, but I still reach for it over and over again. And as you'll see in the little demo here, it's just this fluffy, yummy feeling primer. It again feels hydrating at the same time that it feels blurring. So your skin's not going to get dried out. That is one of the things that I look for. And I apologize if you're somebody that's oily because there's not a lot in here for oily skin. I will tell you right now that Revlon has a power grip primer in the matte and I'll make sure that I link that down below. If you're an oily person, that is a very, very good primer because it's a gripping primer along with the mattifying. So I'll make sure that I link that for you. It's one of my very favorites when I need to go out in the humidity and I don't want any creasing through my T-zone. It's one that I use. But the marshmallow primer, again, checks all of the boxes for the blurring and the hydrating in my mature skin. I absolutely love this one. I love that moussey light texture that it has, and I love the way that my foundation sits on top of it. Another one that I very recently discovered, and obviously because of Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter, everybody jumped on that bandwagon, but this is the Catrice Soft Glam Filter Fluid. This one gives you a glow, and at the same time, you get a lot of hydration from it, as you will see in me putting it on. You're gonna see afterwards what that glow looks like. It's just super, super super duper glowy i have it on this side of my face and you can see what it looks like after makeup it does have this doe foot applicator and it does come in a few different colors so that's nice about it but this is a very very glowy dewy serum that you put on before your foundation and especially if you have a matte foundation and you're wanting a more natural look using something like this underneath there just gives you an ethereal glow to your skin and when you're somebody that is a mature woman and you're kind of getting that dullness to your skin, a primer like this can really be lovely underneath foundation. Now, if you do have a lot of texture, you might wanna skip this because anything super glowy is going to you know, show up that texture even more. But going under foundation, it does hide a lot of that texture anyway. So I love this. I think that I like it a little bit better than the e.l.f. one that came out that was the dupe as well. I think I like it a little bit better because it's a little bit thinner than the e.l.f. one and it just is one that doesn't interfere with my foundation and doesn't make my foundation look cakey on top of it. So really am in love with this. And then the last one is the one that I wanted to tell you that I'm super excited about because this does help me skip over so many steps in the morning. And it is definitely at a drugstore and you should be able to walk it in and walk in and get it at any drugstore. This is from Cetaphil. It's Healthy Renew Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 with purified peptides, hydrates to visibly smooth the look of fine lines and protects from damaging UV rays. It's also for sensitive skin, which I love about it. There's a little bit more in this tube. It's 1.7 ounces, which I like as well. So what I do in the morning is I'll put my vitamin C serum on and then I use this and then I go right in with makeup. How great can that be for when you're needing to go really quickly or you're on a trip or whatever? This is such a lovely product as far as how it hydrates. Over time, you're gonna see those peptides giving you benefits because peptides are the building blocks of collagen. It's really great for my sensitive skin. Sometimes different SPFs, they can make my skin very, very sensitive, not this one. It's very hydrating and my makeup goes on beautifully on top of it. So I'm so glad that I found this and I'm really glad that I'm able to bring it to you because it does kind of wind all those products together. Now the NYX blur screen, I was saying the same thing about it, although it doesn't have all of the great peptides in it that the Cetaphil does. But it again, that's a sunscreen. We're talking about primers. I feel like even though this is marketed as a sunscreen, for me, this is a gorgeous primer for my 56 year old skin. And that is all of them today. All of the primers at the drugstore for mature skin. I hope that you got one out of here that you might like to try. Let me know if there's one at the drugstore that you're in love with. Of course, I like to try everything that you guys suggest. You guys influence me so much and I go out and buy it almost immediately. So I hope that you're doing really well. Please take care of yourselves. Come back around and see me very, very soon in the next video. Love you very much. Take care, my friends. Goodbye.